me see here. Do you hear that noise? <coughs> All right. No, 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 the other day. Yesterday, I'm leaving work. And well, actually, it's like the last fifth. I take my last fifteen-minute break at the end of the day, right? And I get the dreaded text message. I love it. This is like the, the happiest part of my day is when I'm about to leave work. Even though I go into a break room where everybody's complaining. Doesn't anybody have anything to fucking talk about? I, I It's just that everybody complains about work. Nobody has anything to talk about. Anyhow, I'm in that euphoria of knowing that I'm going to go home soon, and then I get the dreaded text message. The dehumidifier is broken, and the sump, the downstairs sump pump isn't working, and the basement's flooded. Yeah. With what? Shit water. I, t I just wanted to run out the door and just keep running like Forrest Gump. Across state lines, I don't care, through the Grand Canyon. I just wanted to run. It was a beautiful day. I thought I was going to go down to the beach. You don't understand. When I get out of work, at, I get, by the time I get home, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We pack the stuff. We go to the beach. By the time we get on the beach, it's like 4 o'clock. There's a magical thing that happens at 4 o'clock on Robert Moses Beach. Yeah. All the white people go home and all the El Salvadorians come out. <laughs> you never see them. And and the Korean people. Well I it's like it's like a schedule at the beach. It's like you see all the white people punch out. They they punch out at three o'clock, let's face it. Ting ting ting, they go home and in come the the, the Central Americans. All right, we're here. What? I got I got full clothing on and I'm not going to take it off? Yeah, that's what we do. Oh, you, it'll crack you up. Oh, look, look, let me tell you something. Then the Listen, let's face it. Then the 300-pound El Salvadorian mother comes out. She's got the bikini. The bikini. No, no, no. It's the one piece with the bush hairs hanging out. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? T these women, they don't give two fucks about anything. You could see this this bush hair from across the beach. I I love it. I love it. No beach chairs. They sit on the cooler. Like the, the <laughs> It's fucking true, man. It's true. Listen. I'm going to tell you something right now, guys. I Chinese people can't drive. All right? And I'm sorry, but it's just true. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know if they're Chinese, Japanese, uh, Korean, or from Malaysia. They can't drive. Do you understand? Okay, my apologies. But why is it every time I have a near-death experience in my car, I see somebody coming at me and then veer the other way or, or cut me off? Or almost crash into me from behind. Why is it every single time I see an Asian person? I'm sorry. If I, it just becomes fact after a while. You understand I've experienced it so many times. It's become fact of life. I don't care anymore. Oh, he's an angry white guy. Oh, he's racist. No! What do I gotta wear a fucking helmet cam to show you? It's just true after a while. Come on! And we all know it. It's just true. How many times does it have to consistently happen before it becomes a, a fact? And you don't have to hide from it anymore. Oh, yeah. Listen. 
and I know all the Spanish people, all right? I know El Salvadorians, I know Colombians, I know I know what everybody looks like. Uh, people from Honduras, uh, people from Costa Rica. I work around, I work with Spanish people. I live with Spanish people. I got Spanish people upstairs and downstairs. It's impossible not to tell after a while. And my wife's the translator. I said, where, where are they from? Those people over there. They're from Honduras, aren't they? Yes. Those people from Ecuador, right? Yes. Those are Dominicans. Yes. You get it after a while, don't you understand? There's big, big differences. And there's big, big differences culturally. Yeah. Like the El Salvadorians come out. You'll never see a, a, an El Salvadorian man take off his shirt and go in the ocean. <laughs> it's the craziest thing ever. <laughs> this thing was made for... This, this, this style was invented by fat, fat white people. But you'll see an El Salvadorian guy in good shape. You understand? If that's possible. No. In good shape. Who will go in the water with a t-shirt on. Yes. It baffles the mind. Oh, and forget it when the Koreans get out there. I, do, I, saw, the, a, I saw a Korean woman out there with a boyfriend. She was completely naked. Ah. On a beach full of people. And it's like she didn't get it. She didn't get you. You weren't allowed to be naked. And we're talking about a full-blown bush down there. Oh, my God. It was dripping with water when she... <laughs> we all seen a bush, right? I mean, not not like that one. I gotta admit, this thing was huge. And you know something, Koreans are very thin, you know. But she was. When you see somebody thin and pale with a really dark bush, <laughs> and the bush was huge, and then you see this this woman get out of the water and is like, it's like a strainer. It's like she was straining pasta. That's the water that was coming off of this thing. And it looked like a wet dog. You understand? Hanging. That the bush was hanging. I, I, don't, I don't know what we're talking about here. And there's kids around. And it's like she was like... Like looking around like I'm in America. I mean, she. this was like... This is how it was. All right, guys? And what am I going to be? Am I going to be the fun police and go over there and tell them to put clothes on? You're talking, you're talking to the wrong guy, Jack. All right? I don't care if she comes up, comes over to my fucking... She comes over to us and rings out a bush on my son's face. <laughs> not, I'm not saying a word, baby. I'm there to watch the party. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you come down to Robert Moses. Let me tell you something. White people don't know about it. You come down to Robert Moses after like 4 o'clock, you're going to see a party. Oh, yeah. My Christ. You're going to see El Salvadorian women eat like you've never seen. Like You, you want to see a bag of potato chips go down? Woo, doggy. All right. I don't know what we got here. It's slim pickings today. It really is. I got a package here. It's addressed to Bithead 1000. What is that? Amazon Prime? I don't know. Oh my god. What is this? I love the PS4, man. I fucking love it. What is this? Senra Kagura Peach Beach Splash. No shirt, no shoes, all service edition. What the hell is going on? Oh my god, we got girls in bikinis running around with water guns. Oh, what?
全力を尽くすのみだイカルガさんとカツネーのためにも頑張るようんこの試合に勝ってみんなで楽しい旅行に行こうよ皆さんイカルガあたいたちも負けずに行くぞ最上級いいんじゃねえよはい我もしかと。Kidding me right now? Shoot him up, soak him up. A wet and wild new arena, let busty water gun battles begin. I'm moving to Japan! Let busty water gun battles begin. I can't take it anymore. Look at this. Oh my Christ. Includes art book, music, CD. Blu ray compilation of openings from previous games. I, I, uh. Soaking wet high school uniform costume. <sighs> Bikinis. <sighs> bush hair. What? Can you animate the bush hair, people? Come on! This is fantastic. I don't know who sent it. I don't know who sent it. Please, whoever sent it, leave a comment below. Let, let yourself be known so we can, we, can, we can all thank you for this. This is incredible. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. I love it. Out of mind. Thank you very much, whoever sent that, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What was I saying? Don't rent out your house? Yeah. So, no beach for me. I had to go home and I had to cl clean out the shithole, a literal shithole in the floor. Oh, yeah. And I love it. The guy, the guy that lives downstairs from me, he's like a huge reggaeton star. All right? I don't know what... Reggae tone, it's like Spanish rap. I don't know what it is. Alright? Is it even Spanish rap? I don't even know if it's rap music, right? We, we all know. Daddy Yankee, right? No, this guy's a big he's like the big reggae tone star down in the uh, Dominican Republic. He's picking up steam over there. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love it. I, he, the guy drives a, a Prius cab. Let's get down to brass tax here, alright? And and his wife's about nine hundred pounds. But the music video, he's like throwing money around, you know. He's next to the the, the uh the fucking Bentley. He's got girls dancing all around all over the place. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. How about the fucking, the fucking shit plugged fucking sump that you clogged up over here? Put that in your music video. Yeah. You can get your fucking 900 pound wife over here that, that does nothing but cook grease and pump it into the fucking sump tank. Get her in the video. Get her in the video pouring, pouring fucking plantain grease down the sink. Can we do that? How about that, buddy? Wait, I, I love it. And it's like the, the videos, like, you know, I, I talk to my wife. She's translated it about, I, I'm a real, you know, I'm a real, uh, you know, kind of guy. And this, that, that, real kind of guy. Where's the fucking, where's the fucking Toyota Prius? Taxi. In the video. How, let's see how real you are. 
Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm, I'm going to make a fucking music video of me fucking hunched over a goddamn uh, shit pit in the floor, scooping out shit with a strainer. Yeah. Wiping a log of shit off of the float valve for the fucking pump motor. Yeah, that's my video. Oh, I, I, I couldn't, I can't wait to make a video. I'll make a video. That's about real life. You're watching it! You just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization. And you better believe that. With the 4K face! We'll see you next time.